Hello. In this video, I'm going to teach you the question form. The simple present tense, the question form. We've already studied to make a sentence, we must have two essential parts, the subject and the verb, to make a statement. If the subject is plural, we keep the verb as it is. If it is singular, we are just adding an S. We discuss them, right? Now we are going to make a question. Question. I eat, it's a statement, I eat rice. Do you eat rice? That's a question. She goes to work. Does she go to work? It's a question. They play cricket. Do they play cricket? That's a question. How to make it? Now we have a subject. We have a verb. To come to this, we are going to take some examples to understand what we need. Subject is essential. Verb is essential. Subject is here, verb is here. I teaching. I'm asking you, subject is there, verb is there. I teaching. Is there a time in this? There is not a time. I teaching. There is not a time in this. Example. Now I'm teaching. My phone is ringing. I'm answering the phone. Hello. Someone is asking me, uh, can I speak to you for a moment? I'm telling him, oh, no, I'm sorry. I can't do that. I teaching. I teaching. All right. At night, around ten o'clock, he rings me again. Excuse me. Can I speak to you? I'm 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 sorry. No, no I'm sorry. I teaching. I teaching. Then he's saying, "Well, I rang you in the daytime as well." Yes, I know that. At that time also, I teaching. Then he then he's asking. He said, all right, if I'm ringing you in the morning, tomorrow morning. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Even at that time, I teaching. Now, I teaching. At that time, I teaching. Tomorrow morning, I teaching. Subject is there. Verb is there. Is there a meaning? No meaning. No tense. In this case, we have to use a verb. I'm teaching now. This word gives a meaning. I'm teaching. I am teaching now. I was teaching that time. Past tense. I will be teaching tomorrow morning. The main duty of this verb here is to help the main verb. Right? Because this helps the main verb, we call it verb that is helping. The verb that is helping is a helping verb. We call them helping verbs. They are helping verbs. Sometimes we can call them auxiliary verbs. Sometimes the same duty, the same thing is being done by modal verbs. Anyway, just remember, because this one helps the main verb, this is a helping verb. If you have a helping verb inside a sentence, then you are going to make it a question. What you have to do is to take the helping verb before the subject. I am becomes am I. I was becomes was I. I'll be becomes will I be. Helping verb. Understood what the helping verb is. Now, in this sentence, we don't have a helping verb. Right? We have the subject and the verb. If the subject is plural, we use do. If it is singular, we use does. This is not does, this is does. Now what's happening? In our statement, we used to say I eat, she eats. Girls eat, the girl eats. If the subject is plural, there is no change. If the subject is singular, there is a change. Now when you have views, a helping verb at the beginning, now this change vanishes. Now there is no difference. Whatever the subject, the verb becomes 
plural. What plural? Present plural. You can call it uh, the infinitive form or the verb stem. Don't want to go far away, just remember as you know this form is person that is plural. Now there is no difference, we just use the verb as it is. Either it is a singular subject or a plural subject, there is no change like this. Do I eat? Do we eat? Do you eat? Do they eat? Do girls eat? Do boys eat? Do dogs eat? Here also the same. Does she eat? Now not eat. Does he eat? Does it eat? Does the girl eat? Does the boy eat? Does the dog eat? Let's take another example. Pass. Do I pass? Do you pass? Do you pass? Do they pass? Do girls pass? Do boys pass? Do dogs pass? Does she pass? Does he pass? Does it pass? Does the girl pass? Does the boy pass? Does the dog pass? There is no difference. It's not passes. You got it? What do we need to make a question? Helping verb, subject, verb. We call this type of questions yes no questions. Yes no questions. Why is that? We are expecting the answer starting with yes or no. If we ask a question like this, do you eat chocolate? Yes I do. Yes I eat. No I don't eat. Does your father go to work by bus? Yes he goes by bus. No, he doesn't go by bus. Yes or no. Therefore, we call them yes, no question. Now, let's see some examples for the statement that means affirmative form and the question form. I eat. Statement. Question. Do I eat? We learn. Question. Do we learn? You run. Question. Do you run? They sing. Question. Do the thing. She brushes. Helping verb. Singular. Does she brush? He mixes. Does he mix? It flies. Does it fly? This becomes plural. Got it? So this is the question form, part one. Yes, no questions. I'll see you with another lesson. Have a nice day.